officially a sixth grader. You know what that means? Sixth grade camp. I'm really excited to spend a whole week in nature with my friends. It's going to be so much fun. I'm also just a little nervous about being away from my parents for such a long time, not getting in the same cabin as my friends, not sleeping comfortably, and I'm really nervous about the showering situations. I think my friends might be nervous about a few things too. Probably being away for like a week. I don't want to get lost in the woods. Maybe just being away from my parents. Probably the showering situation. The shower situation because I really hate public bathrooms. Well, hopefully the beds are not that like bad. It is sometimes scary to be away from home, but we've got a lot of friendly teachers here and all the kids here want to have fun and we have lots of opportunities to hang out and and uh, develop those friendships as well as learn a bunch about science. Our number one goal is to keep all of the children safe. Let's see what camp's all about. I'm inviting you to join me on my journey through sixth grade camp. Need help packing? There's a complete list of what to bring online. And with that, packing's a snap. Okay, let's go. We start the day off at school bringing our suitcase or duffel bags and our sleeping bags. We are escorted to camp by our sixth grade teachers who will stay with us the entire time. We ride on school buses to the camp. Our school will be spending time at Cuyamaca Outdoor School, the original sixth grade camp in San Diego County. The camp is located in the 25,000 acre Cuyamaca Rancho State Park. It's California's longest running sixth grade camp opening in 1946. Over one million students have participated in this program. Once we arrive, we gather in the Fox Lodge for orientation and an overview of the camp. Then, off to get our cabin assignments. Everyone is pre-assigned a cabin and a den within the cabin. Each cabin has a common area with four dens, one in each corner. Each den has nine bunk beds with pads for comfortable sleeping. Once we are assigned our den, we get to pick our bunk and we can be near our friends in the same cabin. The showers work like this. There are four showers per restroom and two restrooms per cabin. Kids wrap in a towel or robe, take soap and shampoo, and four at a time go take showers. The showers are timed and each person only gets two minutes. It's a good idea to practice two minute showers and quick changing before going to camp. Oh, man. The dining system is pretty cool. The meals are served family style, and we can eat as much as we want. Designated students are in charge of bringing the food to the tables. Throughout the week, after meals, we all get a turn at Kitchen Patrol, where we help clean up. Tonight is the bonfire, where we will hear stories and learn camp songs. During camp, we have lots of activities. During the week, you'll go on some hikes uh, where we study the nature, kind of observe the plants and the wildlife that's around us. We really like having students have the chance to learn what they would be uh, learning in school, but outside where you really get to experience what you are learning, uh, not just be reading it out of a textbook. We also get to do science. So we have some citizen science activities that every student gets to be a part of. One of them involves surveying bird populations, and then we report that data to an organization called eBird. And we get to plant oak seeds to replace the oak trees that are dying because of the golden spotted oak borer. On activity day, everyone has the choice between rock climbing or archery. There are a lot of team building activities, like learning to light a fire, geocaching, and the challenge of getting across the toxic river as a team. It's the last day already. This week just flew by. Well, I hope that they would come away with a, an appreciation for nature, um, and I would hope that they come away with a sense of pride in themselves. They're a part of a 70 plus year tradition here in San Diego. I'm so happy about this amazing adventure. I have great memories with my friends, classmates, teachers, and wonderful camp staff. It is awesome to be part of over the one million kids that have gone to Cuyamaca Outdoor School. Thank you for joining me on this journey.